free speech battle is brewing with X. That's the company formerly known as Twitter. They're at the center of it. X has filed a legal claim against the Center for Countering Digital Hate, or CCDH. The company announced the news late last night on its blog, claiming that the CCDH has, quote, been actively working to assert false and misleading claims, encouraging advertisers to pause investments on the platform. For more, we are joined by NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos, of course, to walk us through this. Hi, Danny. Good morning. So let's start here with the big picture. So does Elon Musk and his company X, formerly known as Twitter, do they have a case here? Walk us through what you see. Maybe. Ordinarily, what I would do is compare this case to other cases like it. But I really don't see a lot of other cases like this. Essentially, what X appears to be alleging is that the defendant did what's called scraped data from Twitter. Twitter being public, and I'm still calling it Twitter. Forgive me, I mean X. Mm -hmm. If it, uh, It's accusing the defendants of scraping data, getting data, which is already publicly available. That's the essence of X. But they're co allegedly collecting that data, putting it into a spreadsheet, and using it against X in their advocacy, whatever the case may be. And, and X alleges that that is in violation of its terms of service. So I think that already is an uphill battle to complain okay. that you have this, uh, you have this um, app that the essence of it is that it posts things publicly, and you're complaining that, hey, people are taking the public information that we're posting on our public platform. I don't know. Maybe there's hmm. something there. They're also alleging, but these allegations are kind of vague to me, that the defendants use some kind of clandestine login information to get other data. The only reason I think this is a little odd is that if they had evidence that somebody was wrongfully using login uh, credentials, that implicates a lot of federal criminal statutes. So I would uh, be surprised if they had those allegations, if they weren't more specific about them and really yeah. more. I mean, right now, according to the complaint, they don't even really know exactly how it happened. So they're sort of vaguely alleging it. And I think their plan is to prove it through discovery, depositions, document production. Okay. And what about a countersuit here? Could CCDH say, hey, no, you're the one doing something wrong? There are countersuits available for defendants who are sued who allege that the lawsuit is just a means of chilling their First Amendment rights. So you may okay. see that here. Uh, it's hard to say because, again, I go back to the un underlying theory. Yes, they allege breach of contract. But, for example, that breach of contract, and breach of contract is a huge tent. You can allege all kinds of things under breach of contract. Uh, Contract claims already being often amorphous. The claim that they're making is that, look, the user, the defendant is a user of the X product. They entered into the terms of service the way anyone else would, the way you or I would. And they're now doing things that are inconsistent with those terms of service. But, I mean, the reality is I could, if I was inclined to do so, go through, spend my entire day going through publicly available information on Twitter and create databases and analyze the data from it. It would be clumsy. I, I'm one human. It would be slow. But I could do it and maybe no one would even know. And it, it's already publicly available. So we know that Elon Musk has been very open about freedom of speech being a priority of his. Where does the line draw on that? I mean, does that give uh, X users, not even Elon himself, but users the ability to post anything that they want? Is there a line just quickly? How there, yeah, there's that? a bit of hypocrisy here. You're absolutely right. I mean, if Elon Musk is all about free speech, he's essentially going after a company that's saying uh, mean speech about X or Twitter and saying, hey, you can't do that. So there is a bit of hypocrisy here because Elon Musk, if he is an advocate for free speech probably shouldn't be bothering an advocacy group that is engaging in free speech that is negative about mm, X. Right. Danny Savalos, we appreciate you always. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.